bright orange pull cord above your head is for medical emergencies only. Now, if you pull that cord, EMTs will be dispatched and the train will be shut down for a good long time. So please do not pull that cord unless you have an actual medical emergency. Well, howdy, everybody. Howdy. Well, let's try this. Merry Christmas. That sounds great. This should connect the show here on the back. I want to be the first to welcome you aboard the Frisco Silver Dollar Sing Along Train. Now then, for your safety, everybody, please remain seated. Keep your arms and legs inside the train at all times. Now then, on the left hand side of the train, as we leave the depot, it's our new Winter Wonderland for kids. It's over there at Half Dollar Holler. Now, it's geared for kids ages 3 to 7 years old. And just up the road from Half Dollar Holler, it's Bear Zippa Holler and Beckham's Weaving. Be sure to get in there and check out all the great gift ideas they have. This is a sing-along train, so when I get the music started, I want everybody to sing along. Let's get in that Christmas spirit. decorations up all around town. It really gets me in the Christmas spirit. I tell you, I hope everybody's having a great Christmas holiday season. And you know the best thing about Christmas? <laughs> That's right, it's Santa Claus. Thank you. 
scattered around, the grandpa, well, he never let us open up one single present until he sat us all down and told us the true story of Christmas. You know, if I close my eyes, I can almost hear my grandpa say, Well, Merry Christmas, kids. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> Did everybody have a good Christmas? Yeah. All right. Well, Grandma and I had a good Christmas, too. Matter of fact, she's up there cleaning up the mess I made when I opened my presents. <laughs> I just love this time of the year. <laughs> well, folks are all coming home for Christmas and the holidays, and everybody just seems to be, well, friendlier and happier. I believe that's the way we ought to be all the time. You know, a long time ago, there was a, a man that taught us how to have that kind of spirit all the time. Well, he was a, a special man. He lived a special life, and he died a special death. Many wondrous things happened to that man, but I believe the most wondrous was his birth. I'd like to tell you kids a story about the night that he was born. <laughs> there were in the same country shepherds abiding in their fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. But suddenly an angel of the Lord came upon them, and they were sore afraid. But the angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David the Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest. Peace. Goodwill to all men. When the angel left, they went and found Mary, Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And later, wise men from the east came, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we've come to worship him. And lo, the star which they'd seen in the east went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was born. When they saw the child, they knelt down and worshipped him, and offered gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Yes, many great gifts were offered to that child, but we're the ones who received the greatest gift, the gift of life everlasting.
Well, wasn't that a wonderful story, folks? Hopefully this has put a little bit of that Christmas spirit back into your hearts. And to help that stay in there a little bit, I've got another little, little short story I want to tell you. It's called The Afterglow. Mm -hmm. The greetings and carols have ended. The glad celebrations have ceased. With the angels returning to heaven, the wise men return to the east. But the star that once mm -hmm. shone on a manger still lights the world from afar. And listening hearts still hear angels, and wise men still follow the star. Merry Christmas, kids. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Grandpa, for your wonderful Bye -bye, story. Bye, kids. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye, kids. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, folks. Thanks for coming down tonight. Merry Christmas, youngins. Bye, kids. Merry Christmas to you. Folks, everybody, please remain seated. Keep your arms and legs inside the train. We're going to make a very short stop here. We're going to change out engineers and be right back on our way. Folks, there's the whistle. We're clear to go and we are on our way. Howdy, folks, coming up on the right hand side of the train, we're going to pass beautiful Lake Silver with over 4 million lights reflecting off of it. That's our special holiday gift to you from our family at Silver Dollar City.
Dan Carter ready to yell, Merry Christmas. Call the nice folks who stop to let us pass by. That's my number one here in front, the red car. Car number two, get behind him in the green car. Car number three, the orange car. And car number four, you back to it. So again, I want you to ready to yell, Merry Christmas. Oh, it's so nice. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year!